Hello, welcome to another episode of Nerdy Unreal Dev, and today we'll be talking about emissive textures. Now we got a few models here. Now these two have an emissive texture that was brought in from Substance Designer. And if we take a look at the material, <clears throat> you'll notice that the default material settings uh, for uh, surface blend mode opaque has an emissive color. And if you bring an emissive material straight in from Substance Designer, it'll just automatically put in the emissive color. So that's all in there. But if you notice in this lighting, yeah, it just looks kind of plain. If we turn it off, uh, you can see it's a little glow in the dark. Take a look at that. But how do we get it so that the emissive shows up when there's actually actual lighting? Well, we bring this back up <clears throat> and we're going to right click, type in multiply, insert the RGB into A, and then insert the other, oops, just make that full screen so don't have to do, go back and forth. Do that and put that into emissive color. And then in the multiply node, <coughs> there's a constant. So this is putting information into A and then you multiply it by this. So if uh, we multiplied it by zero, you would see that there's no emissive color at all. In fact, gray is the only color. But if we multiplied that by a number greater than one, so say two, Then you start getting a more like bright, glowier emissive. Make that even greater. <clears throat> so you can see even in this like bright daylight, you can see the glow. Whoops, that turned off everything. And it's even brighter now that there's no light. Now this model here, I just clicked F to frame it. This also has an emissive, but if you see here, it's not really it. There's color, but there's no emissive at the moment. So how do we set that up? Well, as you can see, all the nodes for base color normal. We've got the pack texture mode here with A going into ambient, ambient, R going into ambient occlusion, G going into metallic, and B going into roughness. So uh, since this is a texture with an emissive, just going to grab that. Plug that right in. And you can see the glow now. And just like the other one, <clears throat> just to make sure you can really see it, multiply RGB into A, output into emissive color, and then just multiply that by three. And there you go. Nice, bright, emissive glow. And again, that was right click to bring up all these nodes. And you just instantly type. All right. Thanks for watching.